Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of City Skyline. So, let's take a look at how our city is actually doing for traffic. Um, last episode, I think what we got was about... Oh, it's almost up to 90%. So, it is improving slowly, so that's good. Uh, there are some things that I want to take in consideration here, though. Um, <clears throat> Uh, mainly the uh, traffic along this particular road, I think that could be maybe improved through um, a better intersection down this way. I know that a lot of uh, vehicles are actually going this way, so we might want to actually get um, a thicker road built here so people can actually get down there. And we might want to bring that all the way up to here and then maybe over here but uh before we do that i want to make sure where everyone is going i want to know where their routes are um how this is going to affect the main intersection so uh we can do that by basically i think it's this one right here we can check the routes uh we can see where everyone's going so we can see that a lot of people are going down this way all the way down here a lot go down this direction actually so um, looks like some of them turn around. These guys are trying to get to there as well, so, um, that we can't update that road per se, uh, because the, um, park's right there, but we could make it an off-road, and that might help a little bit, actually, so that's always an option. Um, we could d destroy that particular road, just have a line going from there to there, that might be an option as well. And then kind of funnel traffic down this direction through a main, main artery, we might be able to connect it up that way. That's already connected, so... And not too many people are going up this direction, which is good, but a lot of them are going this direction and then this way, so... Um, this actually is not that congested, a lot of people are actually doing that pretty good. I think it's just this little section here that's causing us problems. So we can take a look at our other direction over here and there's some warnings down here. We, we're going to redesign that whole area anyways again so but uh, I wanted to check uh, how this is going. So as you can see a lot of people are going this way and these are our private vehicles so they go all that direction. Uh, public vehicles go this way, or city service vehicles. But not a whole lot of uh, industrial vehicles go this direction, a little bit around to here. But um, for the most part, uh, we have...
really bad congestion, but uh, the traffic flow is like at 85%, which is really weird, but um, overall I think it's just the, the road and the transit system, as well as having the intersection too close, and there's not much for it. Oh, there's the subway system, people keep crossing over, and you can't really disable the... Um, the sidewalks, unfortunately. Um, putting a street light just makes it worse. Same with stop signs. So you don't really have much other option than... And then you have the trams cutting off, cutting corners there. So it's that's an issue as well. Um, the trams... How, much, how many people? There's only one person on that tram. 14 going that way. Let's see if we can't... Okay, so that not many people are actually using the trams, to be honest. Um, I'm almost wondering if it's worth it, having it in there. Uh, we might be able to set up something a little bit different, maybe. Um, just trying to think, like, what would be the best option for a road like this. And because we have traffic backing up here, we have traffic all the way to about here backed up. It was further before, but um, with the trams, you can't really just go right through the middle there because it cuts off the um, roundabout. And clearly we need another roundabout somewhere over here or some sort of better system in order to handle all this traffic. Um, And a lot of these are private vehicles as well, so it's not like we can easily... I'm going to let it just run its system and see if it gets any better over time. I think that would probably be the wisest thing to do before we like change this whole thing again. Um, I did create a zone over here for public housing and... Well, it's kind of like public... It's like a street walkway thing. But I'm almost wondering if a lot of that pedestrian traffic has to do with people coming in from the city. Yeah, see, it's already starting to go down a little bit. So maybe it's just that. Maybe it's just people moving in. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on it for the, the moment. But in the meantime, let's go over here. We have some issues that need to be sorted out. And I did come up with an idea uh, that we could put a roundabout directly on top of the highway and see if we can't uh, subtract all those intersections so people can just easily get on and off directly so
I got the highway all set up, so it does look like some people are using it, which is great. Um, not too sure how it's going to turn out, but the idea takes up a lot less room. It's a lot more organized, and it. I've just been basically working on getting some bike lanes in so we can connect up to the bike lane route here and getting a tram system to go under and kind of connect up over on this side. We're going to be developing all over on this side again. A lot of this needs to be redone, I think, but um, at the moment we're not going to worry about it too much. Um, but I do want to make this a better intersection and stuff. We'll work on that in a little bit, but I wanted to get some trees and stuff in and uh, create this little park area. Um, over here at the moment, I have a post office and a few other things. We might be able to move the post office a little bit. I don't know if I want to though, but um, I connected it up to this park, which we have here, and I was thinking about putting some trees and stuff in, so Let's see maybe some rocks and stuff to um, just to kind of decorate it a little bit more. Now rocks aren't flammable, thankfully, so we can put kind of like outline this with some rocks and maybe put some trees around as well. So that's the idea at least. Um, and then this will just kind of be like one big massive park area, I think. Now the um, stock stock exchange is right there, so and then the park's there, so we want to kind of go this way. And yeah, I'm already liking the look of that. So and then we can fill in the sides with some trees and stuff. I think that would look really good. So and then we'll put like trees in here, trees along here, stuff like that. Alright, and then we'll go to this tab.
so we got uh, quite a bit of stuff done today. We got the traffic uh, pretty much um, balanced. It's at about 90%, but um, for the traffic flow, but it's still backing up over here. So we're going to have to definitely rework this entire intersection, I think, uh, for the highway system. Uh, we have a lot of people trying to get to over to this direction, and it looks like there's some congestion over on this part as well, so we're going to need to figure out what's going on there. And a lot of people are still trying to get into the city, so we're going to need to figure out exactly where everyone's going, and uh, kind of figure out, you know, where we can make it a little bit easier for them to get to those locations, I think. Um, having the tram system might be contributing to the issue with the amount of people as well so we'll have to figure out if we need a bring out like a, a short highway up to this point or something like that but I'm not entirely sure what to do with it just yet we might just end up redeveloping this whole entire area um, and trying to figure out what we need to do to get it all set up a little bit better so um, however this area over here we quickly built that up and it's a nice little neighborhood uh, we have a side tram on the roads here so it kind of goes through here and connects up to that road that tram system so I'm thinking that we can probably set up a stop or two uh, maybe one stop over here so when um, people can get on and off for the tram and stuff uh, next episode, we will need to start developing this area. I want to try to get it a little bit more neat. <laughs> There's some weird stuff going on with the highway, so we're going to have to fix that as well. But, um, yeah, outside of that, we, we got a lot done. Uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.